right here is a big, beautiful custard machine. We're gonna sneak up. So she's running at eight PSI, and then it monitors discharge temperature as well. So that's a little high. Um, so you're running eight PSI, which is a little low. I think our target's 12, and I think our target here is about 180 when we're running, and we're 226. So hopping down into the belly of the beast here. Yeah, and then we got an angry sight glass. I got suspect number one. isolation valves all over it so regardless if I find a leak I can isolate the refrigerant from it most likely and deal it. so we're gonna clear the sight glass first I've got 507 let's roll baby ribbon because they were having to pour it in such a small batch or it wasn't the manufacturer says between 12 and 14 but 12 or 10 and 14 but 12 is the target and discharge temperatures we want to be at about 180 and so our pressure's a little low and our temperature's a little high so what we're going to do is open this up and I'm going to adjust that valve a little bit I'm going to adjust that valve a little bit so that we get more refrigerant into the system, which should lower our temperature. Right, so we dial it down. 12. 12 and a half. And now our pressure, or our temperature, is slowly coming down. Next adventure, find the leak. I know that the cop-out is Schrader valve. And I'm not 
not getting any bubble heads on it. Definitely. And you gotta realize the refrigerant falls down. So is it coming down from above? There's nothing above. Get in here, well, so we can 